In this video I'll show you how to install and configure the Interform 400 graphical designer. I'll show you how to install the designer from the menu of Interform. I'll show you an alternative for installing it while downloading it from the IFS and I'll also show you some initial uh, configuration. So first of all how to install uh, the designer from the menu. If we go to the green screen and go into Interform 400, oh, sorry. then we have option 12, service functions, and option 70, install Interform designer on your PC. In order for the designer to run, you first need to install a Java runtime environment. So you could install that from the menu here, or better yet, download and install the latest Java runtime environment from java.com. So here it's just a matter of selecting option 1, and then the installation process will begin. An alternative is to download it from the IFS, on the S400, and that can be done through a, for instance, a map drive. We have a, a shared directory called APF3812 home in the IFS. Inside of that, you have a directory called designer, and if you find the directory with the highest number and open that directory, then you will find the installation file for Interform. So it's just a matter of taking this file and copying it down to your C drive that's it after downloading the exe file it's just a matter of running that file so in this case I'll double click on, on the file Select my preferred language for, for the installation. Accepting the agreement, the user license agreement. More or less just a matter of clicking next. And now we have installed the designer. I'll now start up my designer. So the first thing when you start is that it will ask for your user profile on your AS400, the password and the identification of your uh, AS400 or system I, either through the IP address or the uh, preferred name. Now the designer has started up and we can create a new, uh, first of all let me maximize the designer. Now we can create a new empty overlay which is actually the, let's say the recipe for, for the, the design. Before I start uh, my design I want to do a little bit of, of configuration here. Uh, first of all uh, we can set the measurement so you can choose to work with normal inches, centimeters, or inches and pels, where these pels are 240 parts of an inch. In this case I'm running with centimeters. When I insert uh, design elements, I have now here currently two windows. Let's concentrate on the result window, which is actually a preview or uh, an estimate of how the, the final uh, result will look. And you have here your design elements. So in order to insert an element you can for instance click on one of these elements like the frame and drag with the left mouse key to set uh, to insert your frame and, and let the designer know where, where it should be placed and how large it should be. You may notice here that we have this uh, grid in order to help you to align various uh, elements. For that grid, you can both set 
the size of this grid, uh, but you can also uh, disable that if you prefer to to have total freedom in, in why you're placing your elements. You may notice here that I'm currently showing a, a spool file. So in order to, to have this merged result, we of course also need to to select that spool file and we do that via this icon where we can open a spool file. It now contacts the S400, lists all the output queues uh, on our host and now we can select first of all the, the output queue after uh, opening the, the output queue you select the spool file that you want to to open here in the designer it's uh, a good idea to to select an output queue that, that's not huge so we, you won't need to to list a lot of spool files here after selecting the spool file I click open and it's downloaded here to my PC and that's how we have now the, the mixed result of the merge between our overlay and uh, the spool file. So that's it for the initial introduction and then configuration but before I let you go uh, I would just like to show some suggestions for, for caching. So if I open the designer again there are some settings here so if you have a, a lot of uh, output queues on, on your AS400 then uh, all of these output queues and all spool files are uh, downloaded from the host each time you, you open a spool file but if you uh, use this one, use local cache of output queues then uh, the list of output queues is uh, reused each time and there's a, a refresh option uh, on the window where you open the spool file if you if you go with this caching so you need to click the refresh in order to have the new list of, of spool files yeah so that's it and uh, for additional information I suggest you either uh, check out the, the manual for Interform 400 or the other videos available bye